last time we have studied how to draw a tangent to the circle if point lies on the circle using two methods the first one using center and the second method without using center today if the point lies outside the circle how to draw tangent to the circle we'll study this now suppose this is circle with a given radius center o let this radius be 3.1 cm now it is given that the distance of point from the center is 7.5 cm so this is the center from the center the point lies at a distance of 7.3 cm since its distance is greater than the radius definitely this point will lie outside the circle now if point lies outside the circle we we'll see how to draw tangent to this point which is in the exterior of the circle so first we'll draw segment joining center and that point after that we'll bisect this draw perpendicular bisector means more than half we'll draw arc and then intersecting arc this line is not a tangent but this is perpendicular bisector of this segment op now taking this midpoint as a center i will draw a circle passing through point o and point b point o and point b now whatever point of intersection label it as a this is as b and if i join this line pa and line pb these are tangents to this exterior point p it means we can draw two tangents to the circle through the point which lies outside the circle now let us draw this using geometrical instrument uh, let us solve example draw a circle with center p and radius 2.9 cm take point a at a distance of 6.8 cm from center p draw tangents to the circle through point a now i have drawn a circle with center p radius 2.9 cm now i have to draw point a which is at a distance of 6.8 cm from point p so from point p i will draw a point which is at a distance of 6.8 cm so this is point a which is at a distance of 6.8 cm this distance is greater than radius definitely point lies outside the circle now to draw tangent to this point a which is in the exterior part of the circle i will draw perpendicular bisector of segment pa so i will keep a steel point over here more than half arc on the either side of segment pa now do not change the radius draw intersecting arc so this is perpendicular bisector of segment pa with this i will get midpoint of this segment pa now keeping the steel point at this midpoint i will draw a circle another circle passing through point p and point a so this is the another circle i have drawn passing through point p and point a so now this these two circles intersect at this point and this point this i label it at p the sorry q and this one is r now if i join this line aq this is one of the tangent i will join this ar this is second tangent it means if point lies outside the circle we can draw two tangents to this circle and the length of this aq 
इज कॉल्ड लेंथ ऑफ टेंजेंट सेगमेंट ए क्यू एंड ए आर आर ऑफ सेम लेंथ एग्जाम्पल टू ड्रॉ अ सर्कल विथ सेंटर ओ एंड रेडियस थ्री पॉइंट फोर सेंटीमीटर टेक पॉइंट पी एट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ फाइव पॉइंट एट सेंटीमीटर फ्रॉम सेंटर ओ ड्रॉ टेंजेंट्स टू द सर्कल थ्रू पॉइंट पी ही आर ड्रॉन अ सर्कल विथ सेंटर ओ रेडियस थ्री पॉइंट फोर सेंटीमीटर आई हेव ड्रॉन अ पॉइंट पी एट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ फाइव पॉइंट एट सेंटीमीटर फ्रॉम सेंटर ओ now you are asked to draw tangent through this point p where does this point lie this point lies in the exterior of the circle that is outside the circle the first i will draw perpendicular bisector of this segment op so first we'll draw perpendicular bisector for that we'll i'll keep a steel point at point p more than half i will draw arc on the either side of segment op then i will keep steel point at point p and i will draw intersecting arc so this point of intersection if i join i will get perpendicular bisector it means i will get mid point this is the mid this is not a tangent you are asked to draw tangent through point p so what is this this line is nothing but a perpendicular bisector to get the center of the uh, circle which we have to draw with the diameter op so i will keep steel point at point this that is the midpoint of segment op and i will draw another circle which come on come on so i will draw another circle which passes through point p and point o these two circles intersect at this point let it be a at this point let it be b now if i join this line pa and this line pb these are two tangents drawn from an exterior point to this circle and if i measure this length pa and pb both are of same length and segment pa and segment pb are called tangent segments draw a circle with center p and radius 3.4 cm take a point q at a distance of 6.8 cm from the center construct tangents to the circle from point q here i have drawn a circle with center p and radius of this circle is 3.4 cm so all of you know how to draw a circle with given radius now you has to draw a point take a point q at a distance of 6.8 from center center p so this is the center p i will draw a point at a distance of 6.8 so this is 6.8 at a distance so this is the point which is at a distance of point q this is 6.8 centimeter so remember this is radius is 3.4 distance of point from the center 6.8 which is two times that of radius so definitely this perpendicular bisector of this line segment pq will touch this circle okay so i have to draw tangent through the point which lies in the exterior of the circle first i have to draw perpendicular bisector of this line segment pq for that use compass so this is the record keep your steel point at point p more than half on the either side of segment pq draw arcs do not change the radius draw intersecting arc with the same radius so this is the 
perpendicular bisector of this segment PQ since this distance is this is perpendicular bisector of segment PQ now I will draw another circle with a diameter of PQ it means center of that circle will be the midpoint of segment PQ now I will draw circle which passes through point P as well as point Q okay the point of intersection I label it as A this one is B so here line QA is the one of the tangent to the circle from point Q this is the first tangent and line QB is the another tangent from point Q if you are asked to measure the tan length of tangent segment then measure length QA and length QB definitely length QA is equal to length QB as length of two tangent segment drawn from exterior point to the circle are equal uh, draw a circle of radius 3.2 cm and uh, center E take a point F on the circle take another point A such that E dash F dash A and F A is equal to 4.1 cm draw tangents to the circle from point A so here I have drawn a circle with center E and radius is how much it is 3.2 centimeter so this is 3.2 centimeter radius now I have taken any point F on the circle this point lies on the circle now you are asked to take point A such that E dash F dash A what does it mean point E, point F and point A lie on the same line and distance F A is 4.1 so I have to draw here this is E dash F dash A so this is the ray I will draw now the point A distance F A is 4.1 centimeter. So from point F I will draw a point on this ray EF such that F A is equal to 4.1 centimeter from this point F. Now here the distance of point A from point F is given. So this is 4.1 centimeter. So this is 4.1 centimeter. So this is point A. Now I have to draw tangent through point A. For that first I will draw perpendicular bisector of this segment EA. Perpendicular bisector of segment EA. So more than half. Keep a steel point on point A. Draw intersecting arc with the same radius. So now this is the perpendicular bisector of segment E. This is perpendicular bisector. Now, taking this midpoint as the center of the circle, I will draw another circle which passes through point A as well as point E. Now here, this is the circle which passes through point E as well as E. Let the point of intersection be P and this is Q. Now if I join line AP will be the one of the tangent and line AQ will be another tangent. So in this way we have drawn two tangents to the circle 
through a point A which is in the exterior of the circle.